Hi folks, my motor for my compressor should be here this afternoon, so we're gonna pull the compressor out. One of the jobs I'm gonna be doing today and get that motor out off of that compressor. So let's get on with that. Right, so as you probably know from the last video, my compressor packed up, the motor has actually gone, the bearings look like they've gone. I decided just to buy a new one. I'm gonna keep the old one for a spare and strip that down in my own time. And also, if you've never been to my channel before and perhaps you like my videos, do think about clicking the subscribe button down there, ringing the little notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. I've got a few other things to share with you as well. Um, I received these cutting discs in the post. They didn't come from my Amazon wish list, but um, don't know who they come from, so whoever it was who sent me these cutting discs, thank you very much indeed. They are, again, one of the things that I use a lot of. And also off of my Amazon wish list, I'm always running out of junior hacksaw blades, so I've got a packet there. And they came from, uh, oh, Anonymous. Enjoy your gift, I enjoy your video, so it's only fair I chip in. Wish I could afford more. You don't have to afford more, but as I say, it's a token that counts, and that is very, very grateful. Thank you very much indeed, whoever it was who actually sent them. And I had this on my wish list as well. This was a floodlight, uh, a 50 watt floodlight, LED floodlight. And um, I'm definitely gonna be putting that possibly in here just to light up the working area a little bit more. And this come from um, uh, Robert Bryce from Milton of Camp, Camp, Campsie, Scotland. He says, hope you find a good views for it, Martin. Love the channel. Been watching your video vlogs for a few years now. And that's the thing, a lot of my subscribers are long time viewers as well. And that is, thank you very much for that, Rob. We might be fitting that a little bit later on today. We'll see how the time goes. So I'm gonna put that over there for the moment. And also, Gary come in today, <laughs> my boy, and he found this which he'd had for a while now. And this is a PIR LED light. Now I'm gonna probably put this one outside the log cabin, because when I do come out of here in the evening, or when I come to come in the log cabin when it's dark for some reason. Very, very dark and slippery out there. And this has got an infrared sensor on, so I'm gonna be putting that up maybe as well a little bit later on. But first of all, let's get this compressor out of here, get the motor out, and then we can wait for the new one to come. I need the compressor up and running. I've got so many parts to do, and it's brought me restorations to a standstill because I do need me media blasters to carry on. So let's get it out, and I'll put you on time lapse for that. I'll see you in a minute. Stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around That should be it now. Yes, there we go, lift it off. Bring it over here. So I'm gonna need that bracket off of there. So let's get that off. Very handy, these uh, DeWalt kits here. Little nut certs in there as well, I think. Is that the one? Perfect. So that goes back in there. And I think these the bolts go straight through the motor, so I'm expecting a nut the other end to turn. Or do they? No, they don't. There we go. That's handy. So that's the bracket I need. So I'll just put that back in for the moment, although I will be stripping this down and repairing it. There we go. Now, I'm not sure whether the new one comes with a, a new pulley or not, but there's no... Um, keyway along the back here as you can see there's a chunk taken out of it there look normally there's a hole there with a a little set screw in there but there's nothing there as you can probably see so this looks like it is literally just drifted on and it's got a bit of rust around it so uh, that breaking off there is a little bit of a bother so I'm hoping it does come with a new pulley failing that I've got to try and remove this pulley somehow and uh, that's not looking very promising I could try giving a tap on the center spindle 
just to shock it, but we'll see when the new motor arrives in about an hour's time. But if you can hear that, it's very squeaking, graunchy, so that's obviously the problem. So that will be stripped down. It comes with a run and a start capacitor. I think this control box is actually not needed because I think the new one comes with this already on. I'm hoping the capacitors are gonna be inside it. Should be easily repairable, but uh, I just haven't got the time to do it at the moment. So I'll have to wait until we get the new one. So this is the floodlight LED that come from my subscriber. What I'm thinking of doing with this is installing it in the workshop up here and just sort of having it so it can shine down in basically this area here when we do work on lawnmowers and stuff like that. So that's what I've got the intention for. So I'm gonna fix it up first of all and tap it into another light fit in there. So uh, just bear with me and we'll get that fixed up. Okay, well, I've got this up here now. I think this is the best place for me to, to put it. And you might remember the last light fitting I put up, the external light fitting in my other video. And I had a comment to say, putting it out without silicone around the back is a definite no-no in capital letters. <laughs> As though I don't know what I'm doing, I've installed thousands of outside lights, underground cables, joint con uh, commander sockets and stuff like that, co torpedo joints. And to be told that is a definite no-no from someone who doesn't know what I've done in the past 25 years as an electrician. And I will put silicone on the back there. I know someone did mention they don't think it'll ever get silicone, but I will get some silicone and put on the back there. So all I'm gonna do now is just tie this into uh, this light fitting and um, pick up the feed off of there. And hey presto, I'll have a nice little work area light for the middle. So I'm gonna do that right now and I'll see you when I've finished it. Okay then, that's that connected in. There's the light fitting fitted up there. Let's switch on and see if we've got any better light in that central area. Put these over there for now. I'm determined to keep this workshop tidy. Right, let's have a go. That's all right. Yeah, that gives me a nice condensed light here. You probably can't see it, but it's a, I don't know if you can see the reflection on there. It's a really nice white light. Can you see there, look? So that's really good. I'm really pleased with that. Thanks very much to my subscriber. I'm really happy with that. Right, okay, let's turn it on, see if that works. Get ready. Have we got light? No, we haven't, so I don't know why that is. Do we cover that up first? I know this has got to be set up. Here we go. I don't know how long, I'll have to wait till it's dark before I set that up, so uh, I'm pleased with that. So that's that, I'm happy with that now. I'm knocking through these little jobs at the moment. Sharon's just told me the uh, motor's come for the compressor. Let's come get that. Okay, there we go, big old lump this. Right, let's get this open. Again, this didn't take too long to come. I think it was, um, I ordered it on the Friday. Today's Tuesday. Normally they do a 24 hour delivery, so, because it's the weekend, I don't suppose they work weekends. So very good supply from that uh, compressor company where we got mine and Jimmy's compressors. That's the uh, company, very good company is GTA, as I say, they, uh, they're very, very cheap, very reasonable. And it's also very well packaged. There's a box in a box. And I do hate that when companies don't package stuff correctly. All right, let's get that out like that. All right, okay, now we're getting somewhere. It's like past the parcel. <laughs> yeah, I'm finding myself finishing off all these little odd jobs that I've had and the workshops needed tidying up for ages. I bet it doesn't come with a pulley. I really hope it does. Oh, it only comes with a pulley. <laughs> Happy days. Now on the website, it showed it didn't come with a pulley, so that's really pleased me that has. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, that's superb. And, and the connection box on top. So you can't fault that. All I've got to do really is connect up the cable. Yeah, then there, even this one, it's not uh, got a little grub screw on it, smooth as anything. 
on she goes. And lucky enough, I scribed the line in the top of the paint there where the uh, motor was sitting. So it should go pretty much back in the same place. Well, you haven't got to see me put this back on. I'll uh, connect it up and then I'll come back to you. So I'll see you after I've done this. You've already seen me strip it down. Right, okay, that's everything back together. Just got to put the lids on this cover. They give you absolutely everything here. All it is is literally bolt everything on, even down to the thermal overload cutout switch on the uh, plastic box here for the motor. Everything's new, so it's handy that I've got literally a complete changeover set. If I ever, this one does go wrong, once I've done the bearings in that one, I can just li literally just change it straight over. I haven't got to worry about anything. Right, okay, that's it. Here we go. Big switch on time. Everything's done, yep. Happy days. Lovely. Well impressed. Superb. Right, I should just push this back into place, get everything straightened up in here. Time now is quarter past four in the evening. I've had enough today. I'm gonna to go inside, get ready for dinner. And uh, don't forget, as I say, if you do like my channel, hit the old subscribe button down there and ring that little notification bell. And if you're interested in any merchandise, like what I've got on here, for example, you can get this, I'll leave a link in the description below. The diesel guy, which is the chap who does my merchandise, is actually selling it on eBay. So you can go directly to eBay and purchase it there. Links are in the description below. Anyway, thanks very much. Don't forget, watch out for the next video coming up. And also, maybe I should have a, hack, a retro hacks video on my retro hacks channel after a month rest. Uh, now I've got this thing going. So thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.